Uh, so friends, uh, today we are uh, going to uh, discuss uh, the estimation part of our regression uh, parameters in case of uh, two variable regression lines. So in that uh, uh, model we have taken that is our uh, regression line uh, where uh, y is our dependent and it is written to our uh, variable x and that is our independent variables and uh, we have to now estimate uh, the alpha and beta that is our uh, one is our regression coefficients and one is our uh, <coughs> constant alpha. So first we have uh, taken the summations uh, uh, so if you take the summations of ey uh, then uh, alpha is a constant so if you take the summation that means will be uh, the number of observation that is there and so we have taken summation x and summation uh, ey and the whole model if it is divided by the number of observation that number of observation suppose it is divided by n so uh, the uh, yi uh, by n uh, alpha by n uh, so the whole uh, regression line is divided by Mm, the number of observations that is n. Now, uh, if you uh, get uh, that summation uh, y i by n, then you are having that uh, there is our uh, mean uh, y, so it is given by uh, y bar, and that n n get cancelled out, so we are having our uh, only alpha, uh, and then summation of x i by n, that is our uh, x bar, uh, so it is uh, beta x bar, and uh, summation of u y by n, then it is our uh, u bar, that is our uh, mean error terms. Now, uh, from the regression, uh, classical linear regression assumptions, uh, we know uh, the mean of error term uh, that will be zero. Uh, so from that assumptions, we have taken u bar is equal to zero. So uh, that u bar will uh, be vanished, and uh, we are having uh, y bar is equal to alpha plus beta x bar. Uh, so that is our equation two, and that is our equation one. Now, if you subtract uh, one, uh, two from one, uh, so by subtracting uh, 2 from 1, uh, we are having uh, y i minus uh, y bar, uh, then that alpha and that alpha will get cancelled out. Uh, so here we are having beta x i and here we are having beta uh, x bar. So we have taken that uh, beta common, so beta x i minus x bar and here our uh, ui uh, that remains same. So that is our y i minus y bar is equal to beta uh, x i minus x bar uh, plus uh, u y. Uh, now that uh, deviation, uh, there is actual observation from its uh, mean, uh, that is y i minus y bar, uh, that is denoted by small y i, mm, exactly uh, x i minus uh, x bar that is denoted by small x i, and we are having our u uh, y. Now, uh, as you know uh, that uh, u is our error term, uh, so if we take the summation value and if you get it squared, uh, then the estimated uh, regression um, residuals uh, that is denoted by u hat. So if you get the summation and square, uh, then it is uh, again we know that uh, this is RS that is called actually a residual sum of square and it is denoted by summation uh, ei uh, square. So summation ei square uh, we know uh, that is we get uh, from um, actual observation minus our estimated uh, y. Uh, so y i minus estimated y, that is our uh, ui. And uh, as we have taken here summation and here square, so we are having summation square here. So <clears throat> there is our summation value is remaining same. Now we are uh, putting the value of estimated y i. So estimated y i, we know uh, there is beta hat x i um, um, minus uh, uh, ui hat. Uh, so ui hat. Uh, so uh, that is our, uh, from this part, uh, this is our uh, yi is equal to beta xi uh, plus uh, ui, uh, that is uh, called our transform model. So if you put the value of uh, ui hat from the transform model, then uh, yi, small yi minus yi hat value is this. So <clears throat> now we have to um, minimize our RSS uh, to get the uh, regression uh, estimated, which is the regression parameter. Uh, so uh, that uh, to minimize the RSS with respect to our regression coefficients, uh, there is uh, beta head. Uh, so <coughs> so we are uh, now uh, differentiating. First, we are taking the first order uh, conditions of uh, minimizing. Uh, that is uh, de uh, partially deriving uh, the residual sum of square with respect of uh, beta head and that, uh, that first order derivative will be put is equal to zero. So uh, our uh, del RSS by del uh, beta head is equal to, we can write, uh, there is our uh, del 
delta uh, uh, summation of pi square by uh, delta beta here. Uh, so this is our uh, uh, summation uh, EI uh, square or uh, there is our RSS. Uh, so that part will be now uh, uh, derived uh, with respect to uh, beta here. So uh, deriving uh, the, with respect to uh, beta here, uh, we are now having uh, as it is uh, yi minus uh, so beta here xi minus uh, yi uh, ui hat. Uh, square. Uh, so taking the uh, differentiations now, the power it will be multiplied here, uh, and the uh, remaining part will remain in uh, uh, same. Uh, so <coughs> uh, two into uh, this uh, the uh, whole value. Uh, and now again within the bracket, we have to we have to uh, uh, differentiate uh, that uh, part with respect to uh, beta here. Uh, so uh, differentiate is here uh, the, uh, the bracket part with respect to beta here. Now, if you uh, differentiate these portions with respect to beta hat, uh, then yi is a constant here, so with respect to beta hat, that will uh, be zero. Uh, again, <coughs> there is a random part ui with respect to uh, beta hat, it will be zero. So here we are having uh, beta hat and here beta hat, so uh, uh, del beta hat equals to del beta hat, uh, that will be one. Uh, so we are having only xi uh, from that uh, differentiation sign, it is having minus sign. So we are uh, minus uh, uh, xi uh, in here. So now if you multiply uh, that minus xi with uh, uh, the whole values, then it, it become minus 2xi uh, yeah, multiplied by this, uh, the whole values. Uh, now if you put uh, the minus uh, 2 uh, on the right hand side, so that part will vanish because 0 divided by minus 2 will be 0. So we are having only um, xi. Uh, and now if you multiply that xi with that uh, part, then we are getting that summation xi yi uh, minus uh, uh, that xi if it is multiplied with uh, beta hat xi then uh, beta hat uh, summation uh, summation here uh, then xi xi that become xi squares uh, minus uh, that summation is here uh, so xi um, uy hat and that whole value is equal to uh, zero. Now <coughs> we are having uh, the same values uh, that is summation xi yi. Uh, minus beta hat uh, summation x square uh, minus uh, sum, uh, summation x i u i hat is equal to zero. Uh, this, uh, this is the same line. Uh, now, uh, if you uh, know uh, that uh, summation x i u uh, i um, that will be zero from the assumptions of our classical linear regression models. That is, there is no correlation between our uh, explanatory variable and our uh, random variable. Uh, so that part, uh, that summation of xi ui from the classical linear equation model that is uh, zero. So we are having summation xi uh, yi uh, minus beta hat summation xi square is equal to zero. Now if you uh, put the beta hat on the left hand side, uh, then that beta hat value will be uh, summation xi yi uh, divided by summation xi square. So that is our uh, estimated beta hat and that estimated beta hat is equal to summation small xi yi. Uh, uh, divided by its uh, summation uh, small xi squares. Uh, so you know uh, small xi, what does it mean? Small xi means there is the deviation from the actual values from its mean and small yi is equal to yi minus y bar. Again, uh, summation small xi squares, uh, that is uh, summation xi minus x bar uh, whole squares. So there is our um, regression coefficient that is estimated. So uh, with that uh, equation, you can estimate the regression and coefficient that is uh, beta. Now, once you uh, estimate uh, the beta head, uh, then uh, from the earlier equations, uh, that, that was uh, uh, alpha, uh, sorry, uh, y bar is equal to alpha hat plus beta hat x bar. Now, if you put the uh, values of uh, beta head here, uh, then you can get the values of um, alpha head. So, alpha head uh, that we can derive uh, by deviating uh, y a bar. Uh, minus beta hat x bar. Uh, so that value you can uh, uh, calculate or estimate that and x bar will also be uh, uh, estimated and uh, you have uh, your uh, beta head. So if, if you know uh, y bar, uh, x bar and beta head then you can easily uh, find out uh, alpha head. So uh, this is how we can um, estimate the regression parameters uh, in two uh, variable uh, case so <coughs> by uh, first estimating the beta head and then after putting the values of uh, beta head on our uh, regression models uh, then you can get your uh, alpha head. So this is all about uh, by uh, taking the transform model, uh, this, uh, the transform model we can um, estimate the regression parameters in case of two variable cases. Thank you.